Lottie, welcome to Houston. Welcome to your debut on the LPGA Tour and also just in any major championship. What have the last week, the last few days been like for you? Yeah, the, the last few days have definitely flown by. Um, got back to FSU and went to, went to class a couple of times and then flew out here and it's, it's just been crazy. We were just talking about it feels like a whirlwind kind of for you. Who has been the person that, who are some people that have maybe reached out to you that you would never expected after winning at Augusta? Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of people, um, a lot of people I didn't know, and uh, I guess the cool thing was the amount of different like pros that watched it, people I look up to, um, like reaching out on on Instagram and, and Twitter or X, um, and just like saying they watched it, saying they enjoyed it, and um, on the Sunday I stayed at Augusta and uh, I met a few players there, and I actually I met like Danny Willett in the clubhouse, and that was really cool, and. I met Tom Watson, Nancy Lopez. Like I met so many people, and it, it, it was just really cool for me. Now, I know the people down here in front are excited to talk with you, but just one more from me here, just being around here and being around players in general. Uh, what have you seen after being on the ground here for a few days? Yeah, um, it's just been really cool for me to, to be hitting next to people that I've, I've grown up watching and um, like play the same course as them and just watching how they go about, how, go about things and prep for this week and just kind of taking it all in, really. Go ahead, Bethan. You good? Hi. <laughs> Is there anyone that you've played a practice round with or had lunch with or any kind of moments that have stuck out with these players? Um, a couple, I've played the practice round a couple of times on my on my own, actually, um, just how it's worked out. But um, my my putting coach is here who coaches a few other players, and, including Charlie Hole. So I got to meet her and got a picture of her, which was really cool. Well, what's the goal for the week? What would you consider to be a good week in your first LPJ event? Um, I haven't really thought about like a, a result or anything. Um, I haven't like I haven't really thought about like oh, I just want to make the cut or something like that. I'm just just kind of sticking to to my game plans and my processes and just treating it like any other amateur event I'd play in and just trying to see what I shoot. Really, I haven't really got like a position in mind. Firstly, I want to say congratulations. I'm Thank excited you. for you as well, being 20 years old. That's insane. But um, I wanted to know, how was the transition from coming coming from England to Florida State and then now being here at the LPGA? Yeah, um, it was pretty smooth, honestly, coming coming over. Um, definitely a change in environment and a lot better weather than, than in England, so that's been great. But um, probably the schooling's a little different than, than what we have in England, but in terms of like just going to events with the team um like there wasn't too much of a transition for me it's a little bit different courses than than we have back in england so like getting used to the different grasses and stuff like that took a bit longer but um i've just really enjoyed it so far and how do your teammates feel about you being here <laughs> um yeah I, I think they're they're excited for me um we actually have acc's our conference championship which starts tomorrow so there was a little bit of a, of a tough decision there but um the coaches are all very supportive of me of me coming here, and um, hopefully we can both play well. So, so a couple of things. Can you describe how fast things are happening for you now? I mean, from like in the week now you play majors, you also play in regionals and nationals, and then majors again. I mean, yeah, very fast. Um, I kind of had my summer schedule set um, a week ago, and now the, it's going to change a little bit um, with getting into the majors. So. Uh, I mean, that, that's only uh, good for me. Like, that, that, that is a good problem to have. So um, everything's been changing, but uh, I'm just trying to enjoy it and um, everything that comes with it. I think the other thing is, I don't know if you had a chance to talk to them. We have Jennifer Capco here, who was the first winner of the Anwa. And then we have other players that have played the Anwa here. Is that kind of an inspiration or something that you can see your future being, no? Yeah, I, I definitely want to try and follow in their footsteps. Um, they all like really kicked on after playing in Amwar or winning Amwar, so, and they're all playing here this week as pros. So I definitely want to kind of follow what they've been doing. Uh, I know that you know everyone's watched the Masters dozens of times on TV. Sure, you have too. What are some things that surprised you on Sunday when you got out there and was really in the heat of competition about the course or whatever? Um. Well, the amount of people for for a starter, um, there were there were a lot of people there, a lot more than I expected. Um, the crowds the crowds were pretty deep, but but it was it, it was really cool um, to see so many people there supporting us. Um, 
I played Augusta the first time last year, so I kind of knew what to expect this year. But in terms of how it looks different to TV, I would say it's a lot more undulating and there's a lot more raised greens and um, stuff like that that you can't really see on TV. And um, probably the dog legs are, are a lot sharper than than you might think. Like you need a you need to really play a draw off a lot of the tees um, other than 18. So um, having that knowledge from last year going into uh, the, the Saturday uh, this year was was really helpful for me. Um, one of the things Augusta is famous for, obviously, is their gift shop. You were there last year, you were this year. I mean, I don't know the exact figure, but you feel like you and your family did a good amount of damage in the gift shop? Well, last year I didn't actually go in. I kind of, like, ran out of time. Uh, we had to go to a college event, like, straight after we finished our, our round. So I didn't get to go in last year. But, but this year I was lucky enough to be invited into, into the members' shop, which is, like, kind of exclusive. So I got a few, like, limited edition stuff from there, um, which was really cool. And, and my dad was there, so um, I definitely got him to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about, about birdie in 17 and 18 and how rare that is for anybody to do that, what what does that mean to you that so many famous shots on those holes and you able to you know the the outcome is uncertain till the very end what what did it mean to you to birdie those last two yeah it, it meant a lot um kind of didn't really have anything to lose at that point and was just get, was just going at the pins and um the putt on 17 was was pro was was very important um Probably being one back going into 18 of a must birdie would probably have been a lot harder than than trying to make birdie to win outright. So, um, to birdie 17 gave me a lot of momentum going into 18, and um, thankfully it was a nice pin on the front, so I could use that backstop. Were you prepared for a playoff? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, I probably I wasn't really thinking about that on on the fairway. I was I was trying to go out that pin. I didn't have very far in, so. Um, I was trying to make birdie. Um, I was a little conscious on the on the putt I had that it was downhill, and they are quite quick at Augusta, so just a little careful with that. But I was only thinking about holding it. How closely have you followed the LPGA over the years, and is there a moment or a memory that you have of watching the Chevron Championship that stands out to you? Um, yeah, I, follow, I followed it obviously quite a bit, and um, particularly the majors, um, watching the majors. Um, the thing I remember most from the Chevron is just people jumping in the water, um, as particularly at the the, uh, the old venue as well, um, just, just people jumping in when they win. But I remember 18 here being quite a crucial hole and the par five being reachable and um, people going for it and it coming down to that from last year. That tradition of leaping did continue here last year with Lilia Vu. Have you had a chance to look at the lake? And would you jump in should you win on Sunday? I mean, I saw it. It doesn't. It doesn't look the most clean. But I feel like if I win, I'll jump in. Like, yeah, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Any others in front? You talked about what that uh, week meant to you. How is that? change your perspective? I mean, you always thought you were a good player, and you obviously had success in college, but how does that win uh, last week really change your maybe a career focus or career trajectory or anything at all? Yeah, it, it probably changed it a little bit, but but not not massively. Um, uh, I, I know I, I, I could compete with, with the people that were there. Like, we play week in, week out with each other at college, so... Um, I like I've won college events before against them, but but that but that getting that win um, like being the biggest win for me was at, at a historic venue. Just um, it's definitely life changing, but um, I don't think it will really speed anything up or change my plans at all, really. So taking you back to the present now, I mean you you played you practiced the golf course. It's another tough golf course. So what do you think is going to be? your strategy here, what's going to be the, the most important shots for you here? Yeah, the the hardest part about this course is the greens are, are really firm, so you have to be careful to um, certain pin locations and certain holes, uh, particularly on a few of the longer par fours, you're hitting maybe like six iron in, so um, it's going to release a little bit. So there's definitely some holes that are, are par holes and ones I take for like all pars on all week. So um, it's kind of just trying to minimize mistakes and then taking the opportunities on the par fives and some of the wedges you do have. Um, but it's definitely a, a course which is quite demanding off the tee. And you, you need to be hitting the fairways, particularly with the, the greens being firm. You, you can't really be hitting out the rough. So um, just if you drive it well, that there's, there's, there's definitely opportunities. 
Lottie, real quick, I know that we kind of talked off camera here about, I think you think you have finals this week? Well, I think they're, they're next week, I think. <laughs> or they're the week out. I don't really know, but I know they're very soon. Um, <laughs> what was it like telling your professors this week that you're going to have to miss because you're going to go play in your major play in a major championship? Yeah, I, I just sent them a, a quick email. I, I'd emailed them about me playing Anwar um, the week before. I was just like, um, hi, like, I won Anwar, so like I'm, I, I'm into the majors now, so I'm, I'm not going to be there next week. I hope you can excuse me. <laughs> and who was probably one of the most famous people to reach out to you to congratulate you? Or who stuck out the most to you? Um, trying to think. I feel like sticking out the most to me was probably the like English players that I, that I looked up to watching. Like there's a picture on on Instagram of Justin Rose like in front of the TV like fist pumping like with me holding the part and that he's he's definitely one of my idols. So um, seeing him watching it and supporting me was was really cool. What was the Instagram you're talking about with Justin? Um, it was like a picture of him. I was in the TV in the background and like it was when I hold the part. That's pretty cool. To get yeah. That notification. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, any other questions here? All right, well, thank you, Lottie. Appreciate you. the time. Thank you, very good. You're good.